Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, a makeup artist. Now in today's tutorial, I will show you how to do a smoky Asian eye. I've gotten so many requests on how to do a Asian eye and I happen to have a beautiful model. Her name is Emily. Now Emily happens to be my assistant and she's Asian. So I will show you in this tutorial step by step how to create this look. I used a lot of browns and purple tones on her eyes and I also used a lot of high-end and lesser expensive products just to mix it up for you so you have a variety. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to give it some thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. I love hearing from you guys. Again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and I see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, Emily. Hi. Thanks so much for being here doing this tutorial with me. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, good. Emily is actually my assistant. So, and a lot of you out there always ask me about how to do a Asian eye. So I thought Emily would be the perfect model for me today. So I'm going to start off with applying your foundation. And I chose the YSL Le Touche Clad foundation for you in B50. And I'm applying it with a beauty blender. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to dot the foundation on directly onto your skin and then I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And with the Beauty Blender, what I love about applying foundation that way is that you can really sheer out the foundation and make it really, really seamless and very sheer and effortless looking. Because you have such beautiful skin and I don't really want to mask you with too much foundation. And what I love about this foundation too is that it's very luminous. So it's a really great daytime foundation as well. And then instead of using too much concealer on you, I'm just going to use my hands. I'm actually going to use the foundation right underneath your eyes. So we don't need to use too much concealer today. So we'll just go a little bit closer. And I use my hands just to get right here in the inner corners of your nose where it's a little bit harder to get in with a spongy can also use a little foundation brush. I'm just going to use my hands today. Okay, so let's move on to your brows. Um, I'm going to use this Anastasia product right here, Brow Wiz, and the color is Brunette. And I'm going to quite fill them in because you told me that you used to plug your brows so much that they don't really regrow anymore, right? Yeah. So I want to just fill them in and give you a really nice brow. In light little strokes. In the Asian culture, a lot of the people I know, they, they do tattoos, they tattoo the eyebrows. And uh, I hear that uh, it's a very common thing. Is that true, Emily? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. And then what All do the you girls... have to do when you have to um, tattoo them? Do you have to re-tattoo them after every couple of years? Or? It does. It, it fades and the color starts to change, so uh -huh. definitely. And so you, you do that every couple of years? Um, I haven't gone back in a while. That's uh -huh. why they're quite faded and the color is turning really warm. Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law does the same thing. She loves getting her eyebrows tattooed. <laughs> and eyeliner. All and I, eyeliner. Yeah. She does her eyeliner. Yeah. Whole thing. So I want to like really create an arch in here. Bring it up and then I'm also going to extend your brow just a little bit. Then don't forget to really comb them up. With your spoolie because when you comb them it just gives it a more natural approach and you really are blending the product into your own natural eyebrows so this side is done now we're going to move over to this side now you can see the difference it really just frames your face so nicely all right so i'm gonna mm. do one more thing to your brows i just finished this side i'm using a pencil this is a nude pencil this one is by nars larger than life the color is called rue bonaparte and what I'm doing with this pencil is I'm just kind of tracing it right below your brows. And this way you can like create a really nice sharp edge. So you just draw it underneath and then you take a little concealer brush and then you're blending it in. And that way it just gives it a really, really nice finish to your brow. 
perfect and then one more step to the eyebrows is I'm using a brow gel this one is tinted this is this one is by Anastasia it's called caramel and the reason why I like using this is because it almost like creates little texture on your brows so I'm putting this on top of your brows it's almost like I'm drawing on little hairs and I really love the color because it really matches your hair color perfect Okay, so I chose this palette here by Loric for you today. It's called the Loric Pro Palette. And it looks like this when I open it. And there are some really beautiful colors in there. I'm starting with the mauve color, which is this color in here, just to create a little bit of a crease and to give a little bit warmth and definition in your crease. So for that, I'm using like a really nice big fluffy brush by Bobbi Brown. And I'm using the mauve color right in here. And I'm using the color just like right in here. Just go backwards and forwards. Where is this color now? Here. And just make sure that it's really nicely blended. Because you kind of want this color to be there, but really not to be there. So just to give it a little bit of a hint of a color. And again, we're just creating a crease right in here. My next step would be to use this Espresso color, which is this color right here, on a MAC 217 brush. And I'm just focusing on this color on the outer corners. And I'm going to stay below the crease I just created. And I'm just going to really focus on the outer corners of her eye. So I'm going to bring the brush right below the crease I just created and I'm just staying on the outer corner. I go backwards and forwards. You can bring it even in a little bit more. We're going to even pull the color upwards a little bit just to make a more angular appearance of your eye. And then just make sure to blend it really nicely. And whatever mess we're going to make underneath here, don't worry about that. We're going to clean it up later. Okay, so I'm going to go back with the crease color I used earlier, the mauve color, with the same brush with my Bobbi Brown brush. And I'm going to soften the color I had just applied. I'm going to soften the color I just applied earlier. Okay, the next step is I'm using a highlighter and I'm using this champagne color right in here in the inner corners. Okay. Putting the color right in the inner corners. And then I'm using my MAC 217 brush from earlier and I'm blending it all in together. Beautiful, Emily. Okay, so the next step is I'm using this eye pencil by MAC. This color is called Teddy. And I'm starting on the lower lash line, open up. And I'm actually pulling this color in the inner waterline. And I'm only dragging this color from the halfway outwards. I don't want to do the entire eye because I don't want to close up your eyes. So I'm just doing sort of like halfway from here and I'm pulling this color upwards to create a feline type of flick and then close the eye I'm dragging the color inwards on her upper lash line and don't worry about this this doesn't have to be perfect yet because we're going to blend this color in later on so just drag it inwards very close to her lash line and bringing it all the way in. Perfect. Okay, so I just finished this side because it got so messy with the fall down. So I just cleaned up underneath your eyes and I just used my beauty blender and I went over the eye makeup like that just to clean up the edges. And 
it's really helpful if you just take a Kleenex, what I'm doing right now, and I'm putting the Kleenex underneath your eye. And I'm using one of these um, smudge brushes. This one is by Utova in 7P. And I'm using the purple color, the deep purple in the palette. And I'm just blending everything together. The teddy pencil we used earlier. And I'm dragging the color upwards. Close. And I'm also going to put it over the pencil just to give it more intensity. And then you can take your 217 brush from earlier and just blend everything together. You want this eye makeup to be just very like, get all the colors together and blend them all nicely together. Open up. And on the bottom, we can even use a smaller brush. This one is by Laura Mercier, just to get in those little edges. And then don't worry about this part. We're going to clean that up now with some eye makeup remover. I'm going in there with my Q-tip. I put some eye makeup remover on right here just to clean those edges. And then you can go in with your beauty blender and just blend it all out. Alright, so I'm almost done. I just cleaned up everything underneath your eyes. It was quite a lot of fall down with this uh, eyeshadow, but you know, you just, I think it's almost better if you would do your eye makeup first and then do your foundation so you don't have to do all this cleaning. But we did it this way today. So I'm gonna, now the last step to this eye makeup is I'm just bringing the champagne color from earlier, which we put in the inner corners. I'm gonna bring that also a little bit right underneath here and you blend it in with the purple. Bring it also on this side. And then you can even blend the purple back in with the champagne color. All right, I think it, now it's time to put some mascara on. We've already curled your lashes, so I'm gonna use this CoverGirl ma mascara today. This one is called Clump Crusher. And I'm um, just going to put a few coats on to so this side. I'm just going to lift up your eye a little bit. I'm also going to put a few little individual lashes on. Put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some falsies on you. Now, I just found these eyelashes. Um, they're amazing, they're called Kiss. And you can get them, I think, at CVS and Rite Aid. And what I like about them is that they have a band of three lashes. So like they're like three little lashes on one little band, and they're really great for the outer corners. It even has a little glue pocket, which is amazing. I already put my glue in there. And this is short, they also come in medium. I'm just gonna use the short one on the outer corners. And they look like that. They're like three little lashes on one band. They're amazing. Okay, so let's put them on the outer corners. Open. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna use two of them on each side. Okay, all right, so we're almost done. A few more steps. So I'm using this Hula product today by Benefit. And I'm also gonna bring that color a little bit into the crease, just to warm up your crease a little bit with the same brush we used earlier, the Bobbi Brown brush. I'm just gonna drag this color right in here, just to warm it up. Okay, and I'm also going to bring the same color, the Hula color by Benefit. We're going to bring that also in. We're going to contour your face with that. I'm going to bring it right in here. 
So we're going to bring it in your temple. And we're also going to bring it a little bit on your chin area. Oh, and I'm using a Real Techniques brush. Okay, so we just contoured your face. It looks gorgeous. And I'm going to bring in some blush. I'm using a Shantikai product. It's a really beautiful peachy color. There's a little bit of a shimmer in it, and it's called Emotion. I'm using a Bobbi Brown blush brush. And I'm just putting it right on the apples of your cheeks. All right, so we just applied the blush and I'm gonna also bring in a little bit of a highlighter. This one is by MAC. It's called Soft and Gentle. It's the Mineralize Skin Finish. And I'm applying it on a Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. I'm just gonna highlight right above where I put the blush. And, you, and we're gonna put it on our Bobbi Brown brush from earlier and we'll bring it also a little bit right underneath your eyebrows. All right, so we're almost done, Emily. The last step to this makeup is I'm applying some lip gloss and I chose this Burt's Bee uh, lip gloss. It's 100% natural. I love this color. It's called Sunny Day. And this is a drugstore product. You can find it at any drugstore. It's just a really pretty peachy pinky color. Great for the summer. Great for every day. Mm, it smells really nice too. Yeah, and this is the finished makeup look for Emily. I hope you guys like it out there. Beautiful, Emily. I was excited to see it. Great. You're done.